hi guys welcome back to my channel I am so happy to have you guys back in today's video I will be showing you how you can create this inexpensive DIY bling lighted center piece you do not want to miss out it's a little bit of rustic meat glam it is so beautiful and so appealing to the eyes please stay tuned and watch how I put together this beautiful masterpiece. Also, don't forget to join my Elegant Creators Academy for free, where you can explore our guide to learn how I build YouTube, guides for Amazon, Facebook, Etsy, DIYs, how to market your business and brands online, and more. Every month, we add a new guide to help you grow your business. You can preview the videos of the guides. Check the Academy link in the description to join for free. To start off, I'm going to take all four of my frames. What I'm going to go ahead and do is remove the little objects, black objects you see here from the back, and also remove the pictures that you see that's inside my frames. from the back of the frame I'm gonna go ahead and take my hot glue and these are the different type of glue that you can use to bond together your frames you can also choose to use both glues the same time as well okay guys do not use this brown gorilla glue go for the go-to glue you're going to see that I use this brown gorilla glue throughout my project I wish that I had it due to the fact that once it's done drying it left this yucky looking brown yellowish residue uh, throughout the whole frames and I really didn't like how it looked although my project came out beautifully but I felt like the glue for me kind of threw it off so definitely use your clear go-to glue with your hot glue gun as your options now that we're done securing all of our mirrors into our frames I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of let it sit here and dry for about 30 minutes before I proceed on to the next step. All right guys, now that all of my frames are fully dry and ready to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and construct my pieces together. Now this part is really easy to do. So you're going to need your hot glue gun, or either your go-to glue, to spray paint my frames first before gluing them together, okay? So I highly suggest you spray painting your frames first before you glue it together. Because I did not spray paint my frames first, I have to double up on my bling wrap so that I'm able to hide the black parts of my frames. So how I'm gonna go ahead and do that, instead of cutting four of my bling strips, I'm gonna go ahead and cut eight of them so that I can double them together before gluing them onto my frames. It's because if you so happen to make the same mistake as me, so that's one way you can go about making your frames look really nice and blinged out, okay? So double up on your strip. Now, if you did spray paint your frames before adding on the bling wrap, then you could go ahead and just use one strip and all you would need is four strips on each corners of your frames.
my two cutting boards, I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint it silver first before I go ahead and attach it to my frames. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do once I'm done spray painting my cutting board, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my bling wrap and glue it on top of my cutting board. adding some push light to the bottom of my centerpiece and I will also be adding some of my beautiful crystal garland that you see here with this beautiful crystal diamond and they are all made out of glass so I will be using my hot glue gonna get my second cutting board I am going to be placing it at the bottom of my centerpiece you do not need to hide glue it you just leave it as is all you need to do is just place your piece right on top of your cutting board your centerpiece right on top of your cutting board and that would be all now before you do that you want to light it up all right guys thank you so much for watching I truly appreciate you guys I have some really great, fun, and exciting news coming your way, so please stay tuned. You do not want to miss out. If you enjoy what you see here on my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you can be alerted each time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to thumb up this video. I truly appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.